Welcome to section 7 where we're going to be preparing our game for the App Store. In this section, we're going to learn how to create graphics for our game. We're going to learn how to add launch screen to our game. We're going to learn how to create and add app icons. We're going to learn how to create a new iTunes Connect app. And finally, we're going to upload our game to iTunes Connect from Xcode. Create graphics for game. In this video, we're going to learn how to use a simple web tool to create new graphics for our game. The graphics that we can create include game background, some of the sprite nodes, start button, end button, and so on and so forth. The web tool that we're going to be using is called canva.com. So if you go to canva.com, if you don't have an account already, you can sign up on this screen. I already have an account, so I'm simply going to log in. Let me log into my account. Straight away, you can see that some of the graphics I've used in this course, for example, this one, and then this one, and then the cat itself, and this one, even the start button, most of them are created from canva.com. You can see some of the templates here at the top. I'm going to pretend that I want to create a new game button. So what I will do is I will go here and say, use custom dimension. If you want to create from a template, you can click on create new design here, which is going to show you all the templates that are available. But if you want to create something like a custom, I'm going to select it. use custom dimension. You can provide the width. I'm going to say 400 pixel by 100 pixel, and I'm going to select design. Here you can go to the background and you can select any color you want for the background. So if you want our button to be this color, we can even select any of these pre-designed background. So you can have a cool background for your game. You can see we have so many options. So feel free to choose whichever. I like this one. It's really nice. Some of them has amount on it. For example, this one is $1, which means it's not free to use. But all the ones that say free, you can use them for free. Let's go back. I'm going to select this color again. And I'm going to select the text option on the side here. And you can have any of this pre-designed text. I'm going to select this one that says stick night and it's going to be automatically added to the background. So let's delete some of the options that we don't need. I don't need this one at the top. So if I click on it, you have this option here. If I click on the bin icon, I can delete this element or the entire group. So I'm just going to delete the element. Same thing for the one at the bottom here. I'm going to delete that element and then I'm going to increase the size for this okay you can drag we can say end game as simple as that we design a button for our game so this is how easy it is for you to design things play around you can use the elements as well if you want to create a new page you can click on this icon to duplicate this page or you can just say add page so now you say I have a page you can add grids if you want grids and if you want frames shapes usually i use that for example our balls i use this for some of our balls and i just change the background for example i can change the background of this to orange and then i can add a new one and drag it to this so you can see this is really cool but i'm not here for this i'm here to actually design the icon that we need for our game so let me close this page and go back again. And here I'm going to use the custom dimension again, but the size that I want is 1024 by 1024. So this is the size of the icons that you have to use on iTunes Connect. So make sure you create an app icon of this size and then click on design. Now that the page is opened, let me go to my uploads. The upload is the area where you can upload your own image to. I have the cat image here. I've already uploaded it to Canva. So I'm just going to simply click on it and it's going to put it at the center of the square. So I'm going to enlarge the image by dragging it on the corner. It's quite blurry now because the cat image is not high quality, but don't worry about that now. So I'm just going to drag it to the vertical and horizontal center. And we have a guide to help us to know when we are in the vertical and the horizontal center. So I'm going to drop it there. And that's all I need. You can be as creative as you want. For example, if you want to add like a ball, I can simply go to the shapes and add a small ball there and uh, change the color to a red. Let's select other colors. So I can make it red. So now the ball is red and I can possibly, you know, just to make it look like a cat is playing with a ball. I'm not going to get any fancy. I'm just going to use this basic icon. So what I'm going to do is once you finish with your design, simply click on download at the top. 
then you can select the file type you want if you want it in pdf if you want it in jpeg or png so i'm going to use the png which is recommended and i'm going to click on download we're going to be using this downloaded image as the app icon we're going to be using it for the launch screen and we are also going to upload it to the iTunes Connect website, which is why it is important for you to make sure that this icon is 1024 by 1024. In this video, we've learned how to use the canva.com website to create new graphics that can be used in our game.